Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I am going to discuss about how to interpret uncompensated, partially compensated and fully compensated respiratory acidosis and alkalosis and also metabolic acidosis and alkalosis. In the last video, I discussed about how to interpret respiratory acidosis and alkalosis and metabolic acidosis and alkalosis. If you missed to watch that video, I have given the link in my description box. Kindly go through in order to get a better understanding of this. Let's move on to the topic. The full form of ABG is arterial blood gas. It is a test used to measure the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide dissolved in the blood. It is also used to assess the acid base status of our blood. In the following slides, I am going to explain how to interpret an ABG. In order to interpret an ABG, we should know these normal values. pH, PO2, PCO2, bicarbonate and oxygen saturation. pH is potential of hydrogen. pH is the measure of hydrogen ion concentration. The normal value ranges from 7.35 to 7.45. The next one is PO2, partial pressure of oxygen. That is the amount of dissolved oxygen in the blood and the normal value ranges from 80 to 100 millimeter of mercury. Next one is PCO2 partial pressure of carbon dioxide that is the amount of dissolved carbon dioxide in the blood and the normal value ranges from 35 to 45 millimeter of mercury. Next one is bicarbonate, HCO3. This is the byproduct of our body's metabolism and the normal value ranges from 22 to 26 milli equivalent per liter. The last one is SpO2, oxygen saturation and the normal value is greater than or equal to 95 percentage. Now you got a clear idea about what is an ABG and what are all the normal values of ABG. In this, I am going to explain how to identify whether it is acidosis or alkalosis. So as I explained already, pH is the hydrogen ion concentration in the blood. The normal value ranges from 7.35 to 7.45. If the pH is less than 7.35, we will call it as acidosis and the pH is more than 7.45, we will call it as alkalosis. So let me put this in a easiest way. You have to remember this mnemonic Rome. Respiratory opposite and metabolic equal. Just to compare this arrow marks, as I explained, in respiratory acidosis, pH is less and PCO2 will be high. In respiratory alkalosis, pH will be more and PCO2 will be less. So just to see the arrow marks, it is opposite. If it is low, it will be high. If it is high, it will be low. So respiratory opposite. Then come to metabolic acidosis and metabolic alkalosis. You see here, if pH is low, bicarbonate also low. And here, if pH is high, the bicarbonate level also high. Just compare this arrow marks, everything is equal. That is metabolic equal. If you keep this in your mind, you can easily interpret an ABG. As you all know that our human body will try to compensate if there is any imbalance. Likewise, our lungs and kidney 
will try to compensate each other in case of any acid base imbalance so here we are going to see about uncompensated respiratory acidosis partially compensated respiratory acidosis and compensated respiratory acidosis so you all know that respiratory acidosis means the ph will be less and the pco2 will be high so in case of uncompensated respiratory acidosis the ph will be less pco2 will be high and the bicarbonate level will be normal if it is partially compensated then ph will be less pco2 will be high and bicarbonate will also be high and if it is fully compensated respiratory acidosis the ph will be normal pco2 will be high and bicarbonate also will be high in this we can see about uncompensated respiratory alkalosis partially compensated respiratory alkalosis and fully compensated respiratory alkalosis so as you all know respiratory alkalosis means ph will be high and pco2 will be low so if it is uncompensated ph will be high pco2 will be low and the bicarbonate level will be normal if it is partially compensated ph level will be high pco2 will be low and bicarbonate level also will be low if it is fully compensated the ph will be normal pco2 will be low and bicarbonate also will be low in this we can see about uncompensated metabolic acidosis partially compensated metabolic acidosis and compensated metabolic acidosis so in metabolic acidosis ph will be low bicarbonate will also be low so if it is uncompensated metabolic acidosis ph will be low bicarbonate will be low and pco2 will be normal if it is partially compensated ph will be low bicarbonate will be low and pco2 will also be low in case of compensated metabolic acidosis ph will be normal bicarbonate will be low and pco2 will also be low in this we can see about uncompensated metabolic alkalosis partially compensated metabolic alkalosis and fully compensated metabolic alkalosis so metabolic alkalosis means ph will be high and bicarbonate will also be high in case of uncompensated metabolic alkalosis ph will be high bicarbonate will be high and pco2 will be normal if it is partially compensated metabolic alkalosis ph will be high bicarbonate will be high and pco2 will also be high and if it is compensated metabolic alkalosis ph will be normal bicarbonate will be high and pco2 will also be high in short if it is uncompensated either pco2 or bicarbonate will be normal if it is partially compensated all the values will be abnormal ph pco2 and bicarbonate if it is compensated then the ph will be absolutely normal from this you can easily identify whether that is uncompensated or partially compensated or fully compensated let me clarify with an example so the doctor advised to do an abg for a patient and the result is here ph is 7.30 pco2 is 48 and bicarbonate is 22 so first you have to find out whether it is acidosis or alkalosis in order to see that you have to take the value of ph so here the ph is 7.30 it is less than the normal value so it is acidosis the next one pco2 so pco2 the normal value is 35 to 45 mm of mercury here it is 48 high 
so you have to remember the mnemonic rom so respiratory acidosis and here the bicarbonate level is normal 22 to 26 so from this easily you can identify it is uncompensated respiratory acidosis let's see one more example ph is 7.36 pco2 is 34 bicarbonate is 20 so here ph is 7.36 which is normal pco2 is 34 that is low bicarbonate is 20 that is also low as i said if ph is normal that is fully compensated so it is compensated metabolic acidosis thank you so much for watching this video i hope this would be really helpful for you guys because once i found this topic too difficult and this is how i learned so just i shared the ideas and the tips what i used to interpret an abg so if you find this really useful kindly like share this to our friends and subscribe my channel my channel name is jebin shine and don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever i am uploading new videos thank you all once again see you all again with one more interesting topic until then it's bye from jebin bye bye take care